Hello everybody, and welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name is Matt Conniger, and I'm building a Kit Fox Model 7 STI. In this episode, I'm gonna start uh, drilling out the, the tabs for the floorboards and working on the floorboards. It's gonna be very exciting, so pay close attention. Here we go. Forget about everything. Put away our problems. Get along with each other. For those of you who don't know what a Clico is, like myself, um, this is a Clico. And I looked at that thing and I thought, what do you do with it? Well, then there's the Clico pliers, so I was playing with it off camera because I didn't want to look like an idiot in front of everybody, but you literally just drill your hole, squeeze that thing together. It's supposed to go. And uh, the little tips come out. You push that through the hole, and when you release it, the third piece expands between and pushes out and holds your piece very tightly so you don't have to clamp it and you can continue to match drill your holes and they'll be perfectly aligned so that's clean maybe we should all just, just put away our problems we just need to forget about it. now it's held in place So I had a question this morning about some drilling. Over here in the in the book, we can see that it says center front floor tab, floorboard tabs two, but there aren't tabs. The tabs look like these. These are tabs, and the only thing that's there on the front is that brace. So I wrote to Kitbox this morning, and John McFeen wrote back to me and told me that I do drill through that diagonal piece, so it was nice to get some uh, instant response from the owner of the company. So uh, thanks, John, if you're watching this, and uh, I'm gonna start drilling, so here we go. So I thought I was going to defer that hole that I drilled through the, uh, the face of the floorboard into the metal, but since I was using a 764th bit, my deburring tool is 
for about one eighth or bigger. So, so that didn't work. I just made sure it's smooth. I just wanted to make sure there's nothing, nothing, no rough edges on there. So as I'm doing the floorboards, now that I've matched, drilled everything to the to the holes in the floor, the tabs in the floor, I've got to then re-drill the holes in the wood with a 9 ths through the wood and then 7 ths through the holes, which is what I did earlier um, in the in the time lapse. So I'm going to drill the wood to 9 ths and then I'm going to sand it with a little 220. Lightly sand it because it's very super thin. Um, it's like less than an eighth of an inch, maybe. If you can see how thin that is, it's very thin. You won't be really standing on them, I don't think so, in that section of the plane. So a little light sanding just by hand, and then it's uh, varnish time for those. And I'll probably put my standard three coats on there because I do a little woodworking and I know that you don't want water to get in the wood and I don't want my floorboards to rot later on. So I'm gonna hit them with three coats. So while I'm doing that, um, I'm gonna be doing something else. So we'll get to, we'll see what the next step is. to whip up a little batch of uh, epoxy varnish. So it's gonna be two parts of the little guy and one part to the big guy. I got the scale out and we're gonna have wiped down the boards after sanding and blowing them off. I hit them with a tack cloth. So we're gonna put some varnish on. So uh, I'll take you through the mixing. So we got a couple Dixie cups because we're gonna mix in one and then strain through it, strain it through a 190 micron filter into another cup. I'm gonna put the cup on there. We're gonna tear it out. There we go. And let's go to grams here. That's easier to easier to count out than than ounces. And I'm usually just guessing at my amount, so I, I think I'm gonna go maybe 10 grams of this and 20 of the other one and we'll see if we can get one coat done. There's 10 grams. And we'll go to 30. 
29, 32. So a smidge over, I need a little popsicle stick to stir it up. And this stuff looks clear, I mean, clearish brown. So you can't really tell if it's mixed properly, so I just stir it for about a minute. And the can says to wait 30 minutes for induction time. Okay, as you stir it, you can start to see some different colors in there. So now it looks like it's mixed up. I'm just gonna stir it for a minute or so. And it says 30 minutes, wait 30 minutes for induction time before thinning. I'm not sure if I need to wait 30 minutes anyway, because I'm not thinning it. But I've been waiting 30 minutes every time and it doesn't seem to, if it's hotter out, if it's 70 or plus, then it seems to you have about 20, 15 to 20 minutes of work, workable time with this stuff. So I try not to mix up too much because when you're brushing it on, you may have seen a previous video, it, it takes a while. So. Um, so I'll just mix up a small batch and see what I can cover. And if I can't cover this one side with with uh, 30 grams, then I'll mix up a little bit more, finish it out, and then try to remember that number for the next side. So now we wait. and thanks for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button, the subscribe button, and that little bell for notifications for future content. I know uh, watching me put some epoxy varnish on those floorboards is pretty pretty exciting stuff. I did get some behind the scenes stuff. I, I went ahead and did a few coats and didn't record it. So it's pretty much the same thing. Mix it, wait 30 minutes, paint it on, let it dry, and then uh, usually I lightly sand it in between coats. So I've done two coats on each side now. And what I'm gonna do after thoroughly reading the instructions on the epoxy varnish, number one, I should probably be wearing a respirator, number two, some gloves, and three, some eye protection. 
So uh, the times I was doing it in the garage, I did have van running, so I had pretty good ventilation. Um, but overall, it doesn't sound like it's good stuff for your body. So I picked up a sprayer while well, reading the instructions again in detail, like I was mentioning before. It talks about spraying the final coat on the floorboards. So I wanted to do that. And I knew that I needed a, a paint sprayer later on in the build for, for fabric, once I'm done with the fabric, to paint the airplane. And I wanted to do it myself based off of things I've read from other builders. So I decided to get the, the Fuji sprayer. It's HVLP, high volume, low pressure, turbine driven. Um, that's about all I know about it. So I'm gonna, I'm waiting on a respirator to come in from Uncle Amazon who brought me the sprayer. And I'll be hopefully putting the final coat of epoxy varnish on the floorboards. That way I can get them in the, in the fuselage and get them mounted because I do need to uh, put the floorboards in before I drill out these the side panels for the center console. So instead of fitting things and taking things back out, I'm just going to wait till that comes in the mail. I'm going to do that final spray, see how it turns out. Hopefully we get that furniture type finish and it looks beautiful, but since it'll be my first time ever spraying anything, we'll see. I'll just maintain a positive attitude. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you like what you saw. And again, tell all your friends. I'm just about at 100 subscribers. So that's my goal for the end of the month. And I'll see you again next Monday. Have a good day.